Well, I think, uh, on the one hand, while Pacific nations are, um, you know, do, do share some common commonalities, they also have stark differences between particular nations and cultures. And I think it would be a mistake to make a broad brush statement uh, saying that, you know, media freedom in the Pacific was good or bad. Some challenges that are faced throughout the Pacific uh, are, of course, things like the, the, the training of, of journalists, the level of income of, of reporters, uh, as distinct from government positions, and the various um, systems of government that are in place that uh, really have adopted a, a typically a, a former British Empire approach to, um, you know, a British colonial approach to media freedom, but have done that within their own cultural contexts. So that varies somewhat between the different countries and it's hard to make a, a broad sweeping statement. But there are always threats to media freedom in Pacific Island nations. It's just that they seem to vary from year to year as to where they are arising. How serious is the press freedom situation in the Pacific compared to other regions? Well, I think almost all regions of the world, uh, other than uh, Western Europe and Scandinavia, have challenges facing them in the area of censorship or, or media freedom, depending on the perspective from which you're looking at it. And the, if you look at Asia, Africa, South America, uh, and, uh, and the, the Pacific, you have, and, and Eastern Europe, you have problems in all of those areas with governments that are, um, you know, are not necessarily that willing to have their policies um, uh, freely discussed in their communities. What are the key challenges that journalists are facing in the Pacific? I think journalists are in the Pacific, as in those other areas, are, are often facing governments that have a self-interest at stake. I don't think it's just Pacific nations that, that suffer this. I think even Western democracies face a level of self-interest of, um, of, of politicians who are in power. The natural tendency is to try to preserve that power by whatever means is available. And that typically involves in, in Western democracies uh, a really strong emphasis on political spin to try to control the, the message that, that's coming from government. In Pacific Island nations, unfortunately, sometimes it takes another turn and uh, from time to time laws are used against the media, uh, perhaps defamation actions, perhaps sedition laws, contempt actions, or in a, in a country like Fiji, which actually has um, uh, much stricter media laws under its current regime, uh, even outright censorship. So we, we have all different challenges coming in, in the various countries. Add to that, the, the problem facing journalists, I think, is that so often a government position is a better paid and more secure position than that of a journalist on an independent media outlet. And this temptation is there to, uh, you know, to basically uh, to walk away from a journalism job into a better paid and more secure government position.